All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit more about the hands, and particularly how the hands can move. So we have three directions the hands can move. We can move the hands rotationally, we can move them vertically, and then we can move them horizontally. Okay. What we hear a lot of is like, okay, you got to hinge your wrist. Well, unfortunately, one of the nine movements of the hands is not hinging. Okay. So what happens is our hands can go vertically, right? So I'm going to have the stick here. They can uncock. Okay. They can cock or they can just be level. So when my wrist is level, my thumb is actually in line with my forearm. Okay. The other one is the hands can rotate, so they can turn or they can roll. And if they do neither, they're vertical to the ground. The other one is they can move horizontally. So they can go, they can arch, they can bend, or they can just be flat. Okay, what we have to understand is words are very, very impactful. So when I say I need to have a cocked left wrist, and a bent right wrist, that's pretty easy to understand now that we know how the hands move. If I go in and I start to bend my left wrist too much, which most people do when they try to cock their wrist, they get too much bend here, it actually flattens my right wrist, which is going to impact how much compression I'm gonna be able to apply to the golf ball and how much lag pressure I'm gonna be able to maintain. So really understanding like how the hands are gonna work and the terms for your hands. So when we say, okay, I need your wrist to be uncocked at a dress and not cocked. Really important, and again, really helps you get a clear understanding of like how the hands are working, where they need to be, and how that's going to impact actually the club face when we put it, uh, our hands on the club.